Terry Dwayne Ashford coming right on back with part three after that incident of the Hispanic and the red Honda. Amazing, isn't it? It's amazing what mice think they can do. Amazing. Actually, as a matter of fact, as I look at the activities of the uh, of some of those uh, people, whether Hispanic or Asian or black or white or whatever, I look at the behavior that we've identified there, and that behavior does, I mean, really does seem to be mocking the behavior and the lifespans of mice. We really do believe that. We really, really do believe that. You're live, L-I-V-E live with Terry Dwayne Ashford right now as we are post up again for you at Fire Station Engine Company number 22 near the Papa John's there. And we are bringing you the Sunday morning, May 23rd, SMU Street Now News broadcast that was attempted to, to have been interrupted, disrupted, distracted by Hispanic aggression in the tag number Indicated there a red Honda, and I think it was a Civic, if I recall correctly. We attempted to disrupt the broadcast, and we simply handled the broadcast. We went right on back to it. And guess what happened? <laughs> the Hispanic male, he waited right there on the corner of Rittenhouse. Right there. Guess what in the car seat that guy, Terry Dwayne Asher did. We pulled up right there beside it. The Hispanic male snarled at us like he was some big old tough gang member. <laughs> snarled. He didn't take his eyes off of us. Rolling his eyes like he was blowing smoke up against his window. He snarled at us right there. We sit right there. We looked at him as we broadcast for you. Tell him to do what he thought he could do. Do it. <laughs> he ain't nothing but a little mice. Do it. What you gonna do? Pull a gun out and shoot? We dare you. We brush your shit right here. Simple as that. Simple as that. We dare you. Do what you thought you can do. The only thing this little Hispanic male this morning could do is look at us and snore like a damn little mice. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Really, really, you really should have seen this guy. <laughs> you really should have seen him. It was so funny. This is the type of thing that you use in the Make Me Laugh segment. This man literally pulled up right beside a stranger. You don't know me from Jack Doe to John Doe to anybody, right? Pulled right up beside me as a stranger. Do all of this. Blah, 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 blah. And we guess that was supposed to have sparked emotion or fight. You remember, it was the Hispanic little crew, the same little crew that said, fight me, fight me. Fight you for what? Fight you for what? It was the same little crew. The same exact little crew. Appeared to have been a Hispanic crew that said, fight me. Well, fight you for what? What are we fighting for, fighting about? Do I even know you? Why would I want to fight you? Why won't you just move on and find a, a table with a child up there sucking his bottle? And why don't you jump up there and try to suck the milk out of his bottle for him? Why don't you do that? And fight with that. Fight with that. Why would I want to fight something like you? Look at how little you are. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And we moved on. What Terry Dwayne Ashford did in that situation, we showed you our professionalism. We showed you our professionalism. In the meantime, we also showed you that we're not going to be intimidated by no little mice. We're not going to be pushed by no little mice. We're not going to be intimidated by no little mice. Well, we're not going to even pay attention to it. We're going to give this little mice a chance to do what this little mice thought 
it could do, and then we're going to move on. And move on with professionalism. What you've seen in the past, it's that little activity right there. The police would then re image Terry Dwayne, Terry Dwayne Asher, that's the aggressor. But we got it right now on the on video, on, on city surveillance video, if you want to pull it. And we also have it on this broadcast. We're daring this police to, to note that Terry Dwayne Asher, that's the aggressor of this situation. This is how the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police act. That's the reason why I feel. I feel they need to be defunded. Get them off the street when you don't know what you're doing. Get them off the street when you carry out particular activity. Dis- uh, disruption and corruption like that. Nerd with a badge. Get them off the street. Police in the, ba- in, the uh, in the past has been notating that particular type of activity from the little Hispanics. I did say it just like that. Been notating the little aggression from the little Hispanics. That's the aggression for the bigger one. Terry Dwayne Ashford in that case. Get over yourself. We're not backing up for no darn little Hispanic. I'm being nice right now. <laughs> I sure am. I'm being really nice. Right now, we're not backing up for you. And it's not going to have any type of impact on our professionalism and carrying out our particular duties. You need to take these little headbangers from your little 4D police station and lock them in, the, in their jail cell, which is obviously where they need to be. You need to take these little Hispanics and leave them over here in this parking right across the street from the engine company number 22 and let them lay down on, on, the, on the grass and do what they do. That's what you need to do. Better yet, in the meantime, Terry Dwayne Asher is going to carry out this particular professional duty. He's going to carry it out. Without any type of impact, fear, or consciousness, these little mice running right here eating off the plate of children. <laughs> All we're gonna say is, oh, we we're supposed to be. Alarmed, alerted, we're supposed to be bent out of place. Oh, no, no, we aren't. Oh, we're supposed to be scared. They're going to lie on us. Oh, remember the Popeye's ordeal where all the Hispanics are supposed to get together and create a fraud line called the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police, and the police are supposed to aid their lie. Remember that? We did that report. Pull it up on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Enter the word Popeyes and enter the word the name Terry Dwayne Ashford and you will get that particular report. Enter the word Popeyes and enter the name Terry Dwayne Ashford and you will get that report. And that's just one of them. What we're showing you in that particular report is the Washington DC Metropolitan Police Alliance with the corruption of the Hispanics and the gangs. For Street Now News, I'm Terry Dwayne Nash. We'll be right on back for you shortly. It is corruption that SN News, Street Now News, check. Terry Dwayne Nash. Squat. And then he pulled right up beside you and asked you, what are you going to do? You came and you did all of that. All the twirling and head twirling and whatever, hollering and rolling your eyes and bucking and strolling. And we're right here. You still can't do nothing. What are you going to do? And you saw, I ain't gonna do nothing. The only thing they would do, could do, would even try to do, would be behind the scenes. 
which is what mice do. The Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police that's inside of 4D. Who may have even staged that particular ordeal. Yeah, I said it. Who may have even staged it. It was right there. They were waiting to sabotage. Carry the way natural. You're a bunch of shit. Bunch of shit, snipe right there in your shit's face. Now keep, keep it moving. You are with Terry Dwayne Ashford right now, SN News. This particular program, programming was produced by Terry Dwayne Ashford. It was directed by Terry Dwayne Ashford. It was managed by Terry Dwayne Ashford. The reporting is that of Terry Dwayne Ashford. Backstage music was selected by Terry Dwayne Ashford. You're listening to a music piece called Vertigo. Vertigo right now. It's brought to us by a musician that goes by no other name other than Not a King. Not a King. I said Not a King. The voice you're hearing right now is that of Terry Dwayne Ashford. The voiceovers and all voiceovers for SMU Street Now News is that of Terry Dwayne Ashford. The photograph on the cover of this particular broadcast is Terry Dwayne Ashford taking up the time of the broadcast. The photograph is taken with dog and mouse. Now, we want to say to you that, um, again, uh, we're going to take this back to the focal point. The focal point is making a judgment call about something you don't know nothing about could cause you to make decisions behind the scenes that is totally unrelated to the judgment call you were trying to make. That's what we see is happening. I find it sad. I find it sad. I find it sad. I'm going to tell you what, what I think happened. A person who didn't know anything at all about journalism was watching Terry Dwayne Ashford sitting on the side of the street just looking for journalistic purposes that has been proven to you is what he does professionally. And that person who was making the judgment call was thinking Terry Dwayne Ashford was carrying out some deceit. He didn't know what Terry Dwayne Asher was doing sitting here on the stretch. Well, it's, it's totally Terry Dwayne Asher's right to do that. This guy came here as a journalist to carry out his reporting career and to learn more about the city and carrying out his career aspirations. And here you have a whole group of people interrupting his career because they didn't know what he was doing. And as a result of that, you may have had somebody, somebody, you may have had somebody locked away from the disruption of the low class and the dumbness and the aggression and the arrogance and thought you could go behind the scenes and carry out some type of activity behind a person's back regarding a person's own rights. We're going to close out this particular segment, part three, with this particular program is produced by Terry Dwayne Ashford, managed by Terry Dwayne Ashford, directed by Terry Dwayne Ashford, and is reported by Terry Dwayne Ashford.